So today we will build a processing chain that you can use to create all sorts of techno rumble effects for your kick drums, but not only, of course, you can use this with other voices as well. It will have also an interface, as you can see, the result will sound like this. I will go through this interface at the end of the video, but let's start building the chain. Okay, so here I have the kick module from VCV going through TAN from Instruo for extra grit. Um, this we will use as the kick source, but of course you can use any other module or sample. This is how it will sound like. Right, quite a gritty kick drum. So now the first module we will add in this chain is a delay. I will use mostly the surge modules. Of course, we will use a copy of the kick drum. So we always have the original sound and the rumble will act as another layer. Right, so I will send a copy to the delay. And for now, we will use this as mono. This will go to the mixer. Right, I will sync the delay with the clock. Right, for now I will change this to 16th notes. Later on on the interface you will be able to, you will be able also to change this to different, um, different timings. Right, now we will set the mix amount to 100% wet. So we get only the processed signal. We don't get the original kick drum. Right, so now we have, if I reset everything. So now we have just a kick and the delayed signal. Okay, the next module in the chain will be a reverb. This will be reverb 2 from Surge. In this case, we will go mono in, but stereo out, right? And we will use the reverb to spread and smear the sound as much as we like. Right, we can change the size, the decay. more a bit less you can change this again later on on the interface you will see exactly how everything works together right and now the next module of course will be distortion so this will be this one here i will go with the ojd model and of course make the connections right and this is my favorite part uh, sending delay and reverb into distortion this will create the whole rumble experience I will remove the filters for now. Oh yeah. Right, and now to tame this and make it even more of a rumble, we will use a low pass filter. So I will add this after the distortion. Right again, left and right. Now let's have a listen. Right, so now it's much more of a rumble again if I reset everything. Oh yes, already we get something nice. Right, and then later on we will be able to choose also the frequencies or the color of everything. So now what we need is to sidechain the kick and this um, processing chain to duck it and to give the original kick drum more space. So for this I will use two oppressors from Flag 1 and 2. And by the way there is also the Oppressor Pro which is already stereo and it has uh, many other um, features. If you are interested of course check it out. But for this video um, I will use the free version or two instances of the free version. Right, so I'm going to connect it and also connect the kick drum to the key input. And now the nice thing about the uh, oppressor, unlike other side chaining, this will um, have also effect on different frequency bands according to the range control. Right, so as you can hear now, it's also side chained. So it will give the kick drum a bit more space. 
Okay, now since we are in the modular environment, I would like to have the filter also move with the kick. So there is movement in timbre and not only volume. So for this, we will use an envelope follower. I will use the follow module from Bogo Audio. Again, I will use the kick drum, right? Another copy of the kick drum as the input. And this will follow the amplitude of the kick drum and will output control voltage that then I can use to sort of uh, side chain the filter, right? If we listen to this also, and you can see this here also on the filter. Right, so now the filter will also move together with the kick drum. will create and add even more movement. And now I want to add another layer to this, maybe something brighter to add texture to the sound. So what I will do, I will use another filter after the Lopez filter, I will use another one. This will be a band pass filter. I will stick with the OBX model here. Right, I will use a copy of the signal from the distortion module. And now I will use a mixer to mix both signals. So the first one, before the side chaining, the first one will come from the Lopez filter. The second one will come from the Bandpass filter. And from there, this will go to the side chaining. So this uh, another layer, so the second layer will also be side chained to the kick drum. Right, so now if we listen to this, this is the Lopez. This will be the band pass if I solo this. A bit more resonance. Right, I can choose exactly where it will be. Again, later on the interface, you will see this. Exactly the color that I want to add to everything. Right, and we will change this uh, sound a bit. So for example, I can add also the ring modulation uh, channel here, which will basically, if I answer them, which will basically um, ring modulate channel one and channel two. So it will multiply or ring modulate, use one signal to modulate the amplitude of the other. This will add, as you can hear, if I solo this. Right, this adds a bit more a bit more grittiness to the sound. Right, I can add even more texture with noise, which will also be side-chained. Again, this is before the side-chaining. Right, and we will add even more movement just to this band pass filter layer with the rotary speaker module or effect. Again, from Surge, this will add more movement. Right, I'm going to sync this also with the clock. If I solo this again, so we listen. Now this is just the band pass filter channel. Drive, of course. This will add movement in the stereo field as well. And now let's change this to something interesting like eight dotted. Right, you can hear the texture it's adding. And the nice rhythm from the from the modulation from the rotary speaker. Okay, now let's add a few more things. So first of all, I would like to have control over the bass frequencies, over the uh, wideness or spreading in the stereo field. So for this, I will use the Bass Master Junior from MindMeld. If I send everything, all of the chain through it, I will show you. First of all, I can solo the bass frequencies or the lows. In this case, it will be everything below 100 Hertz. Right, and now I can change the width, so I can have this also mono. Right, just to make sure that my bass frequencies are in the center. Right, and another thing I would like to add is the master module here, also from MindMeld. 
just to give me control over the overall level that I don't have to run to the mixer all the time. Right, listen to this. Nice effect, and of course there is so much to tweak here and change the sound, and this we will see on the interface, so let's really go now over the interface. Okay, so again this is the interface, here we have the kick input, you send your kick into this um, input or any other sound you want to experiment with, and then from there it goes automatically to all the different destinations, again the same with the clock input, and then you get a stereo output that you send to your audio module or to your mixer and so on, and all of the different controls, before we start having a look at this, um, I just want to mention I'm going to save this as a patch, so you can download the patch of course, um, of course for free, and uh, use it, and I'm going to save this also as a selection file, so you can load it into your patches, already built patches, and use it in already existing patches, so you don't have to start a patch all over again, but in order to load this as a selection file, unfortunately for now, um, the selection file option here in VCVREC will not load uh, MIDI mappings, hopefully this will change soon or in the future. Until then, we can use the Strip++ module from Sturmelder, of course, Sturmelder to, uh, to the rescue. This is available in the library, all you have to do is right click it and click import, and then you can load any selection file and it will load it with the MIDI mappings. Because I'm using Patchmaster here, which will use mappings, so it will load it with everything saved. Okay, so here I have uh, the same kick drum more or less, right, and now what I, uh, you have to do is just send the copy of this kick drum to the kick input, right, and now this will go already, uh, maybe I will do this directly from here, right, this will go throughout the chain, right, and now we can concentrate, oh, also the, uh, the clock of course we need, right, so I'm going to send the clock also to the clock input, and now all we need to do is concentrate on this chain, so first of all again there is level control, right, this is now just the chain, so just the wet signal, there is delay time, so for now it's 16th notes, you can see this on the, um, how is it called, on the tooltips here, right, or triplets, which can also be interesting, and you can change this to all sorts of different timings, for now I will keep it at 16th notes, right, then you have the verb mix, this is by the way the smear section, and the amount, right, so you can smear the sound, then you have the color section, which will have, of course, distortion, And then the filter, the Lopez filter. And the side chaining of the filter, if you remember from before. Right, so this will side chain the filter frequency to the uh, kick drum. And I added another control here called weirdness. This, should, this will basically just add resonance, but it will sound like this. <laughs> Just if you want to experiment, this can be fun. Then there is the texture um, section with the high layer. Right, with the color of the high layer. With the rate, if you remember also from before. nice and the noise which will be side chain in a second and the grit will be I believe the ring modulation section there oh yeah right and then the side chaining there is the depth and the range again now we listen only to the process signal only to the side to the rumble chain here Again, level control, and then again we can solo the just the bass frequencies, so you can choose exactly how wide or how mono you want them. Right, and that's it. You have all of the controls here that you can change. 
right let's again reset everything oh yeah and then we have this with the kick you can even map this to midi play with this for hours yes really cool and um, let me show you this with a few more voices I have here a Hyatt and a sequence with a grid sequencer from path set sequencing a few modules here with lots of movement and reverbs and stuff like this maybe it's a bit too loud Right, and that's it. You have a whole chain that you can experiment with. Of course, try also to experiment not just with kick drums. This can be quite interesting also with other voices just to add, uh, smear them, add distortion and all sorts of different goodies. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to download everything. It's everything in the description. Thank you again for watching. Cheers.